In this game, we're going to pick the scenario that would benefit from our referring to the area between the mean and z table. There's two different tables that are out there. There's area between the mean and z, and then there's the area beyond z. Typically, if the shaded area is more than half the distribution, then it's best to use the area between the mean and z. That would be this area that you see in a darker yellow and combine that with 0.5, which is half the distribution. So anytime more than half the distribution is going to be involved, uh, then 0.5 plus the area between the mean and z. If the distribution is less than half, then use the area beyond z to solve the problem. So this is just giving you some experience with what z table would you use to solve the problem. And hopefully, you know, doing uh, this and getting immediate feedback will make it so much easier when you go to take on the other uh, scenarios. So on the left it says what proportion of students earned a 53 or more? So that's less than half the distribution. So I can just pick the answer on the right. So it's always going to be just one or the other. Here it says uh, what proportion of students earned a 62 or more? So again that's less than half. In this case I'd use the uh, area beyond Z and I need to select the scenario where I'd use the area between the mean and z. Okay, what proportion of students earned a 44 or more? So that's more than half the distribution, so I would use the area between the mean and z. 38 or more, again, more than half the distribution, I'd use the area between the mean and z. This scenario shows less than half the distribution, so I know it's not the answer, so I'll pick the one on the right. So again, just to clarify, we have two different z tables, area between the mean and z, that's this area here, or the area beyond z. So imagine there is a z right here. Area between the mean and z, you see highlighted in the darker yellow, area beyond z would be this, this area in white. So if we want to find out the proportion of the distribution that's from this point downward, I'd combine the area between the mean and z plus 0.5. So by playing the game, hopefully we just get some logic about how to solve these types of uh, questions, and I wish you the very best.